is a Motorola Droid Razor Take Apart Repair Guide. The first step will be to use a safe open pry tool to release the back battery cover. Carefully slide the pry tool along the outside edges of the back battery cover. This will release the clips holding it in place. With the battery exposed, we can now remove the screw cover. We can now remove the two Torx T5 screws. On the upper part of the battery, there will be two Torx T3 screws that will need to be removed. You now use the pull tab to remove the battery. Now, using a safe foam pry tool, we can remove the cover located near the camera. This is simply adhered into place. We can now remove the five Torx T3 screws as shown in the video. There will also be three Torx T5 screws that will need to be removed. With all the screws removed, we can now remove the back housing. Use a safe open pry tool to pry along the outside edges of the housing, releasing all the clips holding the housing in place. There are now three Torx T3 screws that need to be removed. With the screws removed, we can now remove the metal frame. Now, using a pry tool, we will need to remove the metal heat plate as shown in the video. This will be locked into place in the upper right corner and two clips on the left side. We will now need to release all three pop connectors as shown in the video. Starting from the bottom of the motherboard, we're now going to start releasing some of the adhesive holding the motherboard in place. Carefully pry between the motherboard and front housing to release the adhesive. The adhesive is only located on the outside edges, so continue working your way towards the top of the motherboard.
The top of the motherboard will be held in with clips as well as adhesive. Be careful when working with the top of the motherboard. Using a heat gun or a hair dryer, begin heating the outside edges of the front housing. Use quick movements for about 45 seconds. We can now use a safe open pry tool to begin prying the front housing away from the screen assembly. The screen assembly is held in place with only a small bit of adhesive around the outside edges. Work your way around all four sides and remove the screen assembly from the front housing. You can now replace the screen assembly.